So for this uh, week's little adventure, I um, thought we'd uh, do a drive day. Uh, so this is my like day and a half off in between shifts. Uh, so I took Hiker and we're on the 550 up towards Ure. So Ure is going to be the last stop. But uh, up through Durango and Silverton and Telluride and uh, going to look for a few hikes up here, just short stuff. And a uh, cool spot to have lunch. So this is our beautiful view. Let's see all around you here. Super pretty. It's uh, maybe mid 70s up here, so kind of escaping the heat of the desert for a day. And uh, I forgot how much I loved Colorado. This is really, really pretty. Everything's super green. Um, nice breeze up, nice temps, open sky. Yeah, super pretty. Um, and hikers having a good time. Found some water to get in for the first time in a while. And uh, yeah, so we're about uh, 45 minutes outside Ure at the moment. and. Uh, just pulled over to take a short hike in the National Forest, and after that, gonna keep going towards your eye. So we'll find some spots along the way and get back to you. So we're just out here uh, walking on a pretty little uh, National Forest Road. Super pretty. Tons of aspens up here. It's about 70 degrees, a little warmer. Got a uh, creek or something going on down there. Gotta love Colorado. So Hiker's getting some water and uh, taking a little bath, which he hasn't had for a long time being in New Mexico. What are you doing? <laughs> Might make for a bit of a, a mess in the car. Get a little wet dog going on here. Why are you where you are? What's keeping you from living your full potential, your full capability? Welcome back to Kieran Traveler. This channel is all about living a big, wide, full life of adventure. My name is Ruben, and I'm a full-time ER travel nurse traveling in an Airstream travel trailer with my dog, Hiker, and I'm hopefully here to inspire you to seek out your adventure and live your fullest life this week. So I love trips where you're free to do the trip any way you want. And I've been up since about 3, 4 a.m. Just the consequences of working yesterday into this morning and then trying to get up and flip back today. So uh, we're about, uh, I don't know, 25 minutes from Telluride. Um, and then uh, going to hit Telluride and then head back to Ure. But I figured I'd just pull over, take a little nap and uh, then head that way. Yeah, just taking the day as we like it. So here in uh, Telluride and gonna take a walk around with Hiker. I think he'll take him with me. There seems to be a lot of dogs out here. Uh, I think I found the probably last parking place in this place. Um, so recommendations, if you come to a small mountain town like uh, Ure or Telluride, uh, get there early, kind of like a national park. Find your parking, um, a bike would be a good thing to bring with you and then uh, you're free to walk and bike around uh, these smaller towns with limited parking.
Hiker, what you doing? Hey, what are you doing? This is pretty, huh? It's pretty. Wow, look at that. So when you're planning day trips, I think it's important to leave room for things to kind of unfold naturally. Um, so this is Telluride. We're just walking around downtown and one of the trails we found down by the way. And uh, yeah, didn't plan on it. Um, it may push this trip kind of towards the end. I'm hoping to walk around Ure too. Um, but you gotta pick stuff that you're okay with that being the last thing that you do on that trip if possible. And this is certainly okay. This is beautiful out here. We are just enjoying all of this. Yeah, super pretty. Hiker, what you doing? You taking a bath? It's probably cold. It's snow water. Hiker, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. You like the water? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Been in water for a while, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you all done? Okay. Hiker, come on. So this is Ure, beautiful little town.
Hiker. Here. Check it out. I thought there was a statue, but it's an actual for real deer in these people's salon. <laughs> crazy? Okay, so fun fact. Got back to the car here and uh, the keys are in the car. So let's see if this OnStar thing can help me. Okay, so that was freaking awesome. OnStar was able to unlock the car remotely. I'm not even subscribed to the plan anymore, and they still unlocked it. <laughs> That's great. All right, so apparently they don't like dogs out here on the trails, so mile back to the car, but hiker in the car after getting it remotely unlocked by OnStar. Now I'm back. All right, so I think this is Box Canyon Falls. Or at least some of it. Wow.
Okay, headed back to the car after Box Canyon Falls in Ure. About a mile back. This has been a beautiful day. Both can tell you right in here. believe this is Red Mountain. Gorgeous. I think they're doing iron mining around here, so it's a, kind of an orange tint. And I can be a man, be big and tough for you, darling, that won't be enough. So this is the amazingly beautiful Mollus Lake. Super pretty. Whatever you want, whatever you need. You're the light in the tunnel, and I'm feeling great. The sun we can I think I'll see if I can stop here and have, have dinner. If I could change a thing, you know, nothing would be changed. I love you so and I'm glad you came Oh, you walked into my life at such a dark time When I couldn't make a move and I couldn't make a rhyme You picked me up and dusted me off and told me I was fine So this is Andrew's Lake. I thought I might uh, eat over here, but it's pretty buggy. You know, it might be okay. Maybe up on that hill. Yeah, we'll go up there. So I brought one of the new camp chairs from the truck. This is Andrew's Lake. Probably about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes from Durango. Super pretty. Gosh, I love Colorado. It's pretty buggy down by the water, but uh, we came up here on this hill. I think it'll be a little, a little better. Just gonna have my salad. Uh, I hope not to get all bugged up. I think they're just flies and mosquitoes, but we'll find out. As you my sweet, oh you save my soul. Thank you.